Today on Forbes, how AMD's AI software helped it score the multi-billion dollar OpenAI deal. Whenever Vamsi Bopana, Senior Vice President of AI at the chip giant AMD, gives CEO Lisa Su an update on the progress of the company's software efforts, Su always has the same response, quote, great job, you need to go faster. It may seem unusual for a semiconductor company to put such an emphasis on software, but that's what unlocks the power of the coveted chips that undergird the AI industry. They coax better performance from the silicon and optimize functionality. They allow engineers to operate and program the hardware. More importantly, they're sticky. When engineers at a company learn how to use a chipmaker's software platform, they can be hard-pressed to learn another. According to Bopana, software is part of what helped AMD to score one of the biggest victories in its more than 50-year history, a multi-billion dollar deal that will see chat GPT maker OpenAI use AMD's MI450 chips to power six gigawatts of compute for its popular AI products. As part of the agreement, OpenAI will be able to buy up to 160 million shares, or 10%, of AMD. The partnership is a massive boon for AMD as it tries to catch up to market leader NVIDIA. The foundation of the deal dates back to 2023, when OpenAI first began running some of its models on AMD hardware. In the ensuing years, AMD would seek the AI giant's counsel on the design of its forthcoming MI450 chips. OpenAI has also influenced AMD's software, Opana told Forbes. He said, quote, As our relationship with OpenAI deepened, We've expanded the engagements across all portions of Stack, but certainly on the software side. For example, AMD worked with OpenAI to make Triton, OpenAI's open source language for programming GPUs, compatible with AMD chips. Previously, it only supported NVIDIA GPUs. The AMD OpenAI deal comes as demand for compute power has become almost insatiable. Earlier this year, President Donald Trump, OpenAI, Oracle, and SoftBank announced Project Stargate, a $500 billion investment in U.S. data centers and AI infrastructure. Apple made a similar $500 billion commitment weeks later. The AI frenzy has turned NVIDIA, previously mostly known for gaming chips, into a $4.5 trillion behemoth. Late last month, OpenAI entered into a $100 billion partnership with NVIDIA to power 10 gigawatts of compute, Meanwhile, a new generation of semiconductor startups, including Cerebras, Samba Nova, Grok, and D-Matrix, have sought to develop specialized chips for the AI era, optimizing for those workloads instead of the more generalized approach favored by the legacy players. Sid Sheth, CEO of D-Matrix, said that the explosion of AI services in the past few years means it won't be winner-takes-all when it comes to compute power. He told Forbes, quote, the opportunity is just so large, there's no way OpenAI works only with NVIDIA. Customers are now willing to go through the process of learning what it takes to work with AMD's software. For NVIDIA, software has long been seen by industry observers as a powerful tool to keep it entrenched in the market. CUDA, NVIDIA's programming software, for example, has created a formidable moat when it comes to training AI models. But when it comes to inference, or the computing it takes to actually run the models, the barrier is lower because it's a less complicated process. And that's what OpenAI plans to use the AMD chips for. The OpenAI deal sees AMD now furlongs away from where it was in 2014 when Sue took over. Back then, the company seemed to be on its last legs, with layoffs that nixed a quarter of the company and a stock price of around $2. Its stock is currently worth more than $235, with a market cap of $382 billion. Back then, AMD had missed the boat on mobile devices, and PC sales were lackluster. It was up to Sue to preside over a turnaround and win data center business from hyperscalers like Google and Amazon. Now her goal is to make the company a true player in the next technological wave, artificial intelligence. For full coverage, check out Richard Nieva's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.